The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we will be talking about a few different things today. Our guest today, with a little bit of luck, and I think it's on our side, we're going to have Jim Bartolioni from Bart's Charts. I'm going to start the day here with the chart of the uh, United States Natural Gas, UNG. Boy, folks, you talk about a market that swings. Man, oh, live, it's the pork bellies of pork bellies of pork bellies. I've never seen one like this, but boy, if you can get Get that puppy right. Shut the front door. It's moved ten thousand dollars today, folks. Up and down, all around. Just unbelievable. Just uh, got a little piece of it, which was nice. Anyway, let's move on to a couple other things here. Uh, you can see that we had these island reversal patterns each time. You can see these uh, very clearly marked with the arrows. Uh, this comes from uh, one of our uh, listeners up in Oregon, sent this chart to me. I thought you'd take a look at it. Now, we don't have those island reversals in the in the, uh, the chart for the natural gas, but, boy, we are certainly seeing the swings. My goodness, it, it follows these numbers like, uh, gee whiz, it's just really... Uh, Really, an amazing thing to see it, and I, you know, I see these things all the time. All right, let's move on to a couple other things. As people have asked me about what's going on in the stock market, folks, it's all related to what happened yesterday in the last several days. Here, this is, I'm going to bring out the same chart before because it's important from my perspective. To, because this is what I look at when I'm when I'm looking at the markets. I watch the you know the different markets, much like what Basil and Steve Rhodes and David and Tommy, everybody does that, but. I look at the NASDAQ because you'll notice here that uh, we made a 382 retracement here. We hit it three times, folks, uh, within a three-day period. So that's telling, that's a four-hour chart. So there was a lot of resistance there. And by that resistance now, we're, we're starting to see it, you know, unfold. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it uh, from the eyes of the E-mini S&P because let's just get this up here. To show you what we were watching because you know patterns is uh, what we do here and um, trade what you see and not what you think let's get this one up here and you'll be able to see it this was just a uh, it's just a half hour chart but as you can see here you're looking at a beautiful ABCD pattern up here with a 1.618 expansion and uh, 49 uh, 4509 was the actual 1.618 it never went a penny above that and you can see we've had this big move down and we're, we're still going lower today. And the next chart that we're going to look at will give you a rough idea of where I think we'll be um, either today or uh, sometime Monday would be my guess. Uh, because this is a, more than 100 handles away here from where we are trading right now. And so I would prefer uh, the market not do this until Monday because if it gets down that far, we're talking – things that are pretty nasty and I don't like to see it uh, to be to see it be that fast uh, boy I just you know when I get in these things I, 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 I can get into the Tiger TV but I can't get into the host thing where the host where they give me messages for what's going on with time and everything I, 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 I just think that's and never mind here hold on folks uh, the old cash registers ringing I got it I've got to do something bear with me here I'm I'm just hoping it might be the gold market and shut the front door and raise a rent. It happens to be the gold market. Give me a second here, boys and girls, because we had a nice little, uh, nice little sell signal today in the gold up there at 440, for uh, <laughs> 1947. Hold on just a second. I've got to get this straightened out, otherwise it's going to get uh, going to get a little nasty here. Let me get this up here. Hold on one second. All right, let's get on with the uh, trade of the day here. I, I want to show you something, folks. I'm, yeah, I'm going to break this cadence here because you hear this stuff. Oh, I've got to continue with the NASDAQ. Let me show you why the NASDAQ was in such dire, dire straits. Those of you that uh, 
you know, use the four plate floor traders handbook and looks at standard deviations and means and stuff like that. You'll be able to see this in just a second. This is the uh, NASDAQ. And I want you to take a look at that because uh, as you can see here, uh, you can see the ABCD we made up here. And, and right at that, there was your that was your 382 retracement, folks. And that's the expected weekly range. You know, this is really good. You can see this little tiny ABCD that we made here yesterday, uh, or excuse me, uh, uh, early today, and boom, you know, down we go. So, you know, we're heading lower uh, in that one also. So, you know, what it means overall, I don't know. But look, at I just want to show you how unusual it was to see what was going on yesterday in the NASDAQ. This was posted by several people on the internet. Some of our folks were kind enough to send it on to me, but uh, you'll notice the swing that we had here. I mean, my goodness, that's a hundred, hundred one uh, dropped 500 points from the opening high, folks. Look at that. That is uh, that is really big. Hold on just a minute. Another beat drill's going off. We're having said, oh my goodness, shut the front door and raise a rent. I got to do something here now. Hold on. Oh dear, this is like. Color me happy, boy. Wind her up. You know what? I think I'm just going to book this. Just give me a second, boys and girls. Hold on here a second. When, you're, when in doubt, get out. So I'm going to get out. There we go. And then I can turn off this uh, monitor here and let it go down forever. Hold on just a second, boys and girls. I just... Uh, Trying to do two things at once here, and when you're doing that uh, and you're Italian, you must be very careful. Okay, now, there we go. Let's move my stop down a little bit. It turned off the limit minders, and I think we're going to be okay here to see what uh, goes on, you know, with the rest of these things here. Hold on just a second. Wow. Boy, you know what, folks? When the alligators are in the swamp, you have to do everything at once, and I'm trying to do everything at once, and it's not the easiest thing in, to do. But let me explain something to you, folks. Uh, money comes first, so you're going to have to bear with me here just a second. got to lower my stop down a little bit more here uh, in the gold, and now we're going to see what happens uh, from the rest of this. But, boy, it's got uh, – it certainly doesn't look very bullish now. Shut the front door and raise her in. All right. Okay. Now – Let's talk about ABCDs that don't go anywhere but badly. Let me just give you one right here. Let's just get this up right here. This is the one I'm getting ready to. I'm getting ready to post this uh, sometime today. Okay, so let me go through the sequence of this. First of all, we'll get the screen up. Bring this up. Now, this is a daily chart of July soybean oil. That's the one that. That's the one that got me out of hock way back in 1975. I'll never forget that. It was 75 and early 76. Anyway, you can see this beautiful ABCD pattern that's there. My goodness, it's just as perfect. Uh, AB equals CD, price, everything, right up here, right where it's trading, 79.64. You just can't ask for anything better than that, okay? So... The meeting of the mind said, well, we must sell that because it's a perfect ABCD. If you believe in these things, they certainly have to be believable. And so I had everything going for me last night. I had uh, short stocks on long bonds. And so I had to go into the, crude oil, into the heating oil, shut the front door, soybean oil. And I'll show you what happened next, boys and girls. So hold on to your seats. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of the crude oil. Gosh, darn. These oils are all very slippery. The soybean oil, if you'll notice here, it's 79.65. That's when the the uh, market uh, made its ABCD. Uh, it closed for trading at uh, 79.26. I had a 30-point, uh, well, about 40-point profit in it. I went to sleep. Oh, well, a big surprise. Huh? Let's get this up here and try to get this up again. I'm, uh, just a second here, Al. We'll try to get this up here. Hold on. Uh, okay, maybe that'll pop up now. Is that correct? Okay, there we go. You can see the soybean oil uh, took off and I mean it took off to the tune of about two handles uh, which was about twelve hundred dollars so instead of having a four hundred dollar profit I woke up this morning not having a stop in by the way dumb me because I didn't think it possibly could go above point D could it because ABCDs always work no not this one anyway I looked down and I saw these beepers going off and I said uh oh and I have a special setup here that any time that um, I have a $1,000 loss in anything, I immediately take it out. I mean, just like bada bing, bada boom, that, that's $1,000 per contract. Anyway, I, I saw where the prices were. I couldn't understand why my equity was off by uh, a little bit, well, four or $5,000. So I figured, well, you know, I have to take a look. And then I tried to get in touch with Rich to find out what was going on, so I missed that. The, 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 there's a message to my madness here, folks, and that is, you know, if you're going to do this, you got to put your stops in, because you don't know which ones. That was my fault, and I, hey, I had everything rocking and rolling in my favor, so I figured it was going to be one of those banner days like yesterday was, but unfortunately, I got I got some of it back, but not it, I got it, well, I got way, way more than that back in the, in the gold, of course, but uh, Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's move on to the next one here. We've got a chart here from one of our listeners uh, on the uh, tech stuff. Let's just get this up here to show you. This is the, uh, an ETF for a uh, test thing. I want to show you something here that I think it's – I hope this young man is listening too because uh, I, I would like for you to see this, folks. 
the problem is look at the look at the lower part the volume there folks that that's trading 33,000 contracts or something unless i'm reading this wrong i mean there's there's nothing there to this is not that's not tradable yeah the the swings are there but frankly i don't see anything to do there i i look at this these these volume bars cuz i can see the the fact that this thing has been going down forever uh, so I just don't see any interest in that one at all. I hope that that doesn't hurt anybody's feelings, but, you know, like they say, everybody's got an armpit, and it usually smells. So the next one that he brought on to us was very interesting, and this is the one that is related to interest rates. I, I just can't believe they have so many of these ETFs. I mean, my goodness. I, I well, you know, when I started trading, there were 25 commodities. I mean, now if I look at them, they, and we didn't have options. <laughs> anyway, you can see here, this is lots of ABCDs, and this tells us that this interest rate thing on this particular thing, and I wouldn't trust it because it's an ETF. And uh, like you know, Warren Buffett says, these are weapons of mass destruction, and I firmly believe that. Some day down the road, that's what it's going to happen to them, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what you're looking at with the big A, B, C, D patterns in there. It should be correcting, and that means that maybe the techs are going to uh, maybe maybe have a little bit of a bounce. They're not bouncing today because the NASDAQ is getting hammered, much like we already talked about. So that's another one that you want to pay uh, very, very close attention to. Now, on the E-mini S&P, I think I brought this up. I already showed you where I thought the, where it was going to go here today, and then the next one I wanted to mention to you, and it's really a, a really a wild one here, is this uh, crude oil and natural gas. I'll do the crude oil, uh, the natural gas. I just don't quite have that ready, but boy, that's been a really good uh, swing today. Today's high, the natural gas, was exactly 78 percent of the high we made yesterday. Which was a 382. That's 78 percent. The market dropped four thousand dollars, folks, from the high that it made. Now this is the crude oil. We hit that 61 percent retracement uh, yesterday. We backed off four dollars a barrel, and uh, we're still uh, hanging around that 102 level. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So let's uh, just get up here. To take a quick look oh my goodness look at this gold we got all the way down to 27 well i'm out of it i i just booked that at 09 that's 20 bucks i sold that at the 61 percent retracement at 1946.90 and i covered it at 1926.90 and boy that was very lucky 1928.90 so it turned out to be a good one fortunately there's other ones in here that are not doing that well um but I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm basically flat right now, folks. But I wanted to bring this to show you how I was handling the, uh, the oil, the oil trade. And let me just get this up here. you, you got to learn from your mistakes. And, God, I make plenty of them. So let me get this up here to show you what I did after this market took off uh, in the uh, – and I know I've got it here somewhere. You're not going to – you're not going to defy me here, are you? Ah, there's what I want. There's what I got. Okay, bear with me here one second here. And there's where we go here. We hit the screen. Hit the change windows. Share screen. Okay, I go down to a 10-minute chart, boys and girls. And all I do is I look for a downtrend, and I look for that 135 pattern. As you can see, that 135 pattern lined up perfectly. Now, I've got back 50 pips or 50 points of the of – the, uh, 100 and uh, let me say 160 I lost 185 points so I got 50 of those back so now it's acceptable and now I'm going to be at a break even so whether this is going to be the end of it or not but folks this was a huge move today to see a four a four cent move in soybean oil that's uh, twenty four hundred dollars folks in the uh, see six times four yeah that's twenty four hundred dollars that's a huge move way out of the uh, standard deviation range so those are the, that's what I do I go down to a 10 minute chart you know half hour chart and those those levels I can control the risk and that's what I that's what I know how to do and um, sometimes I do it better than others but that's it I still getting questions about the uh, about the uh, bonds and the notes yes I think we've made a pretty good bottom in here but you know like I said let's take a little bit one step at a time here and see if we can test this bottom one more time and then we'll we'll go from there but we're getting hit everywhere in all of these markets today, 
let me double check uh look over my shoulder here to see where we are yeah we're hanging in there okay we're still down what 400 and some in the dow down uh, 50 something in the s p but uh, they're heading lower you know that's uh that's neither here nor there for what you're paying attention to there so anyway that's what we're watching so just keep uh, keep those cards and letters coming in i've got to do one other thing folks i got to do a little bit of housekeeping here but this will only take a second, so bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, and I'll be right with you in just a second here. 877-927-6648. Jim Bartlioni, next. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And if the trading gods are with us, and she usually is with us, we have our good friend, comrade, Mr. Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Hearts. Are you there, Bart? I am, Larry. Can you hear me? Commander Bart, we are ready for you. You're ready to go. 10-4. Show us what you're looking at, my friend. Absolutely. Now, Larry, I'm just going ahead and uh, sharing my uh, my screen. Can you see the charts? I believe so. If I personally can't, but, you know, I'm, I'm limited by a little bit of a few things, but I think we're uh, okay. Uh, you, you, everybody else can see it, so I think we're we're in good yeah, shape. Okay, that, good, good. Is that good. Uh, that that is not is that your grandson there? Oh, I'm not. What am I showing? Huh? 
I'm, oh, I'm showing I'm showing a picture of uh, somebody uh, holding a little baby. Uh, letting, yeah, watching. I see. And see, this is gosh darn it, Larry. I might have to yeah. let me uh, because I'm showing that my Facebook screen is showing. We've got a great buy coming in on Facebook, and I wanted to show yeah. everybody. Yeah, was that about ten dollars a share, Bart? <laughs> yeah, it's going there That's for sure. But let me uh, let me figure out what's going on, Larry, because it says that I'm sharing my screen. But um, yeah, well, confirm stop. Sharing, Between you yeah, and so. I, buddy, we would have a hard time starting a car. But uh, you're you're much better than I am because you flew one of those puppies, and I just watch. Hey, Jim, let me ask you a question. Why are the yeah. why are we got the F-16s flying around at eleven, twelve o'clock at night now? They never do that here. But they were buzzing well, the house and everything last night. Well, Larry, I can tell you, I I, I don't know, but uh -huh. usually what happens? It, can you guys see my screen now? That, you know if they I, can I, see it. I I can't. I'm I'm blind because I can't see anything that's going on. I, you, your your screen Not is that. sharing, Bart. You go right ahead. Right, Fire right, away, right. buddy. Facebook. Okay. So anyway, Larry, what happens when uh, when things start heating up? Is it's called a N. C E A non combat expenditure allowance. And uh -huh. so they get a lot more money to start flying. And the preponderance of our success is because we own the night. So a lot of night flying equals maybe they're ramping up. That's all I can say. I don't know. Right. Okay. Uh but but when the night flying starts, it starts getting interesting. So um but so everybody can see my screen. This is great. Yep. I love it. We're ready to go, Bill. Right, so, go right ahead. So, however crazy Facebook is, it is Facebook. But you know, one of the things that you taught me and I love is just measured moves. And with measured moves, you can do them in both price and in percentage, right? So this is a Facebook weekly, but it's a log scale. You can see on the right, right? Uh, the It's not linear and, and tracking in the vertical. And so all I did was that initial IPO. I mean, it went straight down, right? So I copy pasted that percentage move and I put it over and you can see it lands right at about a buck 55. Then from the all time low, we got a 0.618 retracement in. And then from the last move higher, again, like you taught me, foot stomp, we got a 1.618 extension. So when I go down to like a 60 minute chart, what we can find is we got a nice cluster. Actually, I'm gonna go up to a four hour, sorry about that. We've got a nice cluster of targets coming in, Larry, and it's right at about 155 to 157. The other thing is almost every single one of the corrective moves have been harmonic in time. They've been off a little bit in price, but they have been perfect in time. So just keep in mind as Facebook, you know, bounces up and down and everything like that. But I'm seeing a really, really strong buy, counter trend buy, right? Uh, a Facebook at about 155 to 157. Why am I so excited about it? Well, I think it could go back up to 180. And if it's got strength, it could go up and fill that huge gap. So I wanted to uh, call everyone's mind to Facebook. The other one is um, we got to take a look at the end. Uh, we talked about it a little bit um, the last time we were on. Larry, sorry, I'm not typing correctly. But uh, this thing's going to explode. And I've been... <laughs> It's the it's the bane of my existence, Larry. Um, I'm going to a log scale now on a monthly since 1972, and this puppy broke out and it broke out big. So I'm hope being my strategy. I'm hoping that I can get back in this at about 123, maybe on the old top. But for our currency traders out there, I see the dollar yen going at a minimum to maybe 150 to 160. It, it, it's just exploded. And then I heard uh, on the last segment, some people talking about bonds. Again, I, I'm just looking at measured moves, right? I love measured moves as you've taught me. And so the largest, and, and so just to put in context, I read this the other day, Larry. And the uh, Volkers, you know, 1980s when he was fighting inflation and everything, I think the Bloomberg aggregate bond index was down at about 12%. In 2008, during the financial collapse, it was down, I think, 11%. We haven't even finished a wave one down yet, and we're equal to or or more than the collapses that occurred uh, during the financial collapses. So this is a train wreck of epic proportions. And so what did I do is um, I just took this as the largest corrective move at about 27%. Uh, and that was back out <laughs> 
back in 1986, right? So I just took that and um, I went to log scale here, Larry, and I just copy paste it again. So you were talking about, um, you know, are we, you know, looking for carving out a bottom? Well, we're we're right at the level that the uh, largest percentage corrective move uh, finished in, gosh, 40 plus years. Uh, and that's right where the low is coming in right now. So yeah. for all, for to your point, for all intents and purposes, I mean, I could see a, a rally occurring in bonds, which means interest rates go down a little bit. Sounds crazy that they would, but yeah. there it is, man. Trade what you see, right? The largest yeah. corrective percentage move in 40 years has completed right at about 139 on the continuous futures contract. So I think that one's a good one. The other one I want to look at, Larry, and we've talked about this one over the years, is BlackRock, something's going on at BlackRock. And the reason I say that, let me blow it up for everybody, is... Well, pay attention and on you guys, this I keep one, folks. Saying, <laughs> I, keep, I keep saying, Larry, uh, to all the listeners, because, Larry, you taught me so much. I love it. We've had yeah. so much fun through years. But I, I've been doing it for a little while. I have not been doing it as long as you have. But this is the first time in my life, right, that I've seen a breakaway gap on a bounce look at that that's an island reversal right there so yeah, it sure to... is right on a bounce wow. they manage 10 trillion dollars <laughs> yeah that we know they, they say it's closer to 16 trillion but we don't know it's so big uh, is it okay they also yeah. have i guess this software this this risk yeah. software that's managing 28 okay. trillion dollars yeah this is a train wreck look at that a breakaway yeah. gap on a bounce Something's going on at BlackRock. And what was yeah. great was we don't know what it is, but trade what you see, right? And I'm doing it really quickly, easy. But A, B, C, D. <laughs> Shut Rock. the front door and raise the rent. Yeah. How lucky can you get on that one? <laughs> exactly, right? And I knew all about BlackRock having issues. Same thing with Pfizer, yeah. right? A, B, I think, uh, hold on, let me... And, and it, not only was it one, it was two. So here, what, here was the big one. It was pay down here or something, right? I mean, bam, ABCD, maker of the vaccine, nailed it. So there's a lot of big charts going on. Then the last one, I hear the music queuing in, Larry. Is yeah, take a break. Take a break. We'll, we'll, we'll be right back. Stay with us, Bart. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be right back. Jim Bartolioni, folks, Bart's Charts. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back speaking with Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts. You want to tell us the last chart, and we'll let you go, buddy, because I know you're very busy today. Oh, Larry, it's all good, man. Uh, yeah, the last one is um, obviously we're living in a geopolitical world, right? So um, a lot of times we can see stuff occurring in the currency markets before it occurs anywhere else. So this is a monthly of the Chinese yuan, and boy. It has certainly exploded. I'll, I'll go to it daily real quickly. Uh, look, look at the strength. I mean, uh, the, the U.S. dollar has exploded straight up. Don't uh, like that geopolitical perspective, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm also going to watch the new Taiwan dollar. So, boy, Larry, uh, you've always told me may we live in interesting times. I certainly <laughs> are. <laughs> it's a Chinese curse, my son, as you know. Look at that, right? Holy yeah. Smoke. Is well, it's hey, that's cool. that's the end of our that's a, the end of our political repertoire for today, buddy. Because we don't talk that's about right. politics. We're A B C D folks here. Not trying. <laughs> it's just something's going on over China for sure. So yeah, you got to anyway. watch it. That's for sure. We saw it in Larry, the Turkey. Turkey. Hey, thank you, Bart. And we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks, buddy. And be safe and Love take it. care of those grandkids. Awesome. You too, man. Be good, Larry. All right. You bet. Okay, folks, that's Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts, and uh, we'll continue on with a couple other charts that people have asked us about. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention one that, uh, that we've talked about just a tiny bit, and I wanted to bring it up to you again. And this is the euro. I wanted to show you that we have a situation in the euro making a big base in here. Hold on a C, and there we'll get it up here to take a quick look at it. You can see the... Uh, I think we're in good shape now. You can see we hit the 382 once. I don't know if is my uh, mouse showing where the where the 382 was hit. It looks like it's doing it. So hopefully that uh, it's it is okay. Thanks, Al. Anyway, so what we've done now is we've come all the way back down here to test this. So this is going to be an important test when we get down here, folks. Uh, tried it last night for 20 pips. It didn't work very well. So. We're probably going to get down a little bit lower in this area and then look at it. So that's uh, the main thing that I'm paying attention to uh, with the foreign currency. I don't trade the uh, the RMB. Uh, Bart brought that up, the Chinese uh, yuan, but uh, other people do. I basically keep it to the big five. You know, those are the euro, the pound, the Swiss, the yen, the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Those are the ones that give you the most bang for the bucks. And so that's how I keep that uh, moving. Uh, we are going to have a live trading session. It looks like around the 15th of May. We're going to do five hours, and uh, we've got some new things to share with you and stuff. So that'll be a fun thing to look at uh, also. Now, give me one other thing to check here, and I'll be right with you because the question arose about, and everybody's asking about the Treasury bonds and the Treasury notes and everything. And I, I believe, folks, that we are very, very close in the bonds. The, the $64 question is, are we going to break down 
and 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 I don't. Th- there's a possibility of this happening, and I don't think it's going to happen. But you know, thinking and trading don't always work. So trade what you see, not what you think. But you'll notice here that we do have that potential for this thing to get down to 128. Well, you know, when you're trading at 140, folks, that's 10 handles. They can do that in a matter of a few days, if not sooner. But you can see the beautiful 135 pattern that we had here. That's off because of the when the computer moves, it moves these numbers, but one. One, three, and five were all perfectly equal. This was 61% of that move right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think the one, the, the old low back here, going back four years ago, comes in at uh, 137. Below that, uh, you know, you're going to be looking at that final objective there at 129. But we are so oversold in these notes and bonds that uh, when they do rally, they're going to, I really think they're going to be a huge rally. In other words, eight, nine points very, very quickly. And that's all it'll be is a short covering rally, folks, because get used to no interest rates. They're, those puppies are going higher. There's no question about that. There's uh, anybody that uh, has listened to the Fed talk. They're basically looking at that's what they're looking for. So we'll we'll watch that as we go through. Okay, now another one that uh, I wanted to share with you, uh, that is the gold market. Uh, let's get this up here. Now this is this is off by just a little bit because I haven't updated it this week, but I want you to see the screen here because we've had a big sell-off. Now we're we got all the way down. We dropped fifty dollars. Uh, from this level here where that Gartley was made up there at 75 and now we're we're trading down into the 20 I think we hit 27 this morning 1927 so that tells us that uh, this is a major ABCD here and if the trading gods are with us we could have a big ABCD down there at that beautiful level that we like to hear of 1776 Always rings a bell when you say that, and that's where I would be like to open my pockets and fill them up with a few gold nuggets, and that's where I'd be looking to be a buyer of gold in a longer-term uh, market. But that's longer-term right now. All we've done now is come down and make a 61% retracement of the low that we made on the 29th. That's our low today. Uh, came in at uh, 1930. Actually, came in 1920. So we've actually gone to it. So we've made that 61% retracement. So um, this is a possibility if it can move out of here. It can actually make some uh, progress to the upside. We're still making new lows uh, rapidly. As you can see, we're down uh, over 600 points now in the Dow. Uh, crude oil starting to give up. And, uh, you know, th just there's not many friends, folks. Uh, even the, even the, the, the Bitcoin and um, Ethereum are getting whacked today, too. So that's a uh, risk off right now. But we're going to find out where it is coming in soon. And we'll be able to take a, uh, a quick look at this as we go through some of these things here today next week of course we're going to have as a guest on monday we have other than norman who calls it to the minute winsky from astro trends jeff huge of alpha insights will be on tuesday and on wednesday ah uh, who did i have on wednesday i haven't written it down yet but i know i've got it somewhere we have a special guest on wednesday i just didn't write it down last night and i will so it'll just take us a little bit of time to get some of these things done okay now the next question that someone asked is about um a copper and stuff and folks i haven't I haven't looked at copper all week long because I've been focusing on the stock market, the gold market, the crude oil market. All of them have been jumping around really great. But this is what I think should be happening to copper. Whether it is or not, let's just double check because this is what I thought we were looking at on Sunday, that we'd be looking at weakness in these metals, which so far we've had that. And as you can see here, I don't know where copper is trading, but my assumption is it would be to the downside for two reasons. A, Dr. Copper goes down with the market, and uh, my guess is that's where we're headed down here to this level down of around 436. And uh, where it is right now is anybody's guess, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. We're going to have to take a little break now to pay a few bills, and when we get back. By the way, I'll be repeating this show, but a little bit differently. I have all new stuff. Uh, I have to show the stock market stuff for Tom O'Brien today at noon. Um our time and so we'll keep an eye on some of these things here as we go through and look at them all right so that's it 877-927-664 we'll be right back folks
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart here of the E-mini S&P. You can see the lower highs that we had in here. Uh, each of them, each rally was about two days, and now we've broken below that major support. Uh, like I posted earlier, it looks like we're going to go down to the uh, 43, uh, 35 level. As I, as I recall that level, that's what I. No, no, it's 42.35. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, it's uh, 42.35. We're at 43.12 right now, and uh, and dropping. So that's not a uh, that's not a big deal. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. What we have going on. So anyway, that's what I'm paying attention to so far uh, this morning here. Um, I'm trying to get my train of thought. I'm make sure we have Norm on Monday, Tuesdays Jeff Huge. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wednesday is Shane Smolian. That's who it is. Anyway, and then a Thursday and Friday, I'm not quite sure about. But those are the ones that we're looking at so far today. We've got the Dow down 600, and it looks like we're going to be heading down even a little bit more than that if it keeps up. So we'll have to wait and see. But live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And uh, always uh, try to help your neighbors these days, folks, because they're having a lot of trouble and uh, it's not an easy gig for them, so just uh, remind ourselves that uh, we're not, we don't come around this way too often, so let's make sure that we uh, try to help our neighbors uh, the very, very, very best we can, for sure. So I think that's it for today. I will be on at 12 o'clock today to uh, work with uh, taking care of Tom O'Brien's show which will be, always be a lot of fun f following in the footsteps of the master himself. Say again, Al. Oh. Okay, one minute to go. So if you have any questions, 
927-6648. I'll be happy to answer them for you. But uh, right now, it doesn't look like uh, Mr. Shane Smolian has confirmed that he's going to be uh, on the show Wednesday. So that'll be really good to do. So uh, that is pretty much it, what we're watching here, folks. So let's uh, keep those cards and letters coming in. I'm stalling until the time runs out. And time has run out, folks. We'll see you on the flip side on Monday. And may God bless.